Hello, I'm Robert Dvorak, and this is a field study demonstration for my watercolor workshop at Natural Bridges State Beach in Santa Cruz, California. It is a small four inch by five inch painting that I did in my pocket drawing pad four by five to prepare for a half sheet watercolor. I am looking south toward the one remaining natural bridge. This video has been speeded up. I also carry with me clips. So when we're painting outside and in the wind, you can clip your paper like that and it won't blow over onto your paper. So what I, the way I start this is, I, I, do, I do this with my pencil. I take two fingers and I put it on both sides of the paper. And then I draw my line like that, you see? Now here I'm going to come up a little bit because I want, I want the paper to be, I want this rectangle to be the same proportion as my paper. And this book is a little bit more square than my rectangle paper. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's, that's my border for my field study. And I do, do make a border, don't just paint it to the edges of your paper. And also, do not make it any larger than this. So if you have a piece of paper like that, yeah, that's too big. And it'll become a painting. And you know, I don't want it to become a painting. It, it's supposed to be a study that we do in 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna do this now, and I'm gonna sit down on the stool and you can watch me, you can watch me do this. So now on the field study, what we do is we decide where our horizon line is going to go and where everything in the painting is going to be. And we scale everything down, down, so that we can get it all on the piece of paper. So the first thing I'm gonna do is draw my horizon line. That's, my, that's the horizon line for my sky. And then I'm going to look at my composition here. Let's see, maybe this comes out like this. And then here, I gotta make sure I get, I think I'll make that smaller here. Now I need my kneaded eraser already. So when you make a mistake, you make the correction and then you make, and then you erase the mistake. So when you make a mistake, don't erase the mistake and then do the correction, just like I showed you here. All right, so let's see, this is gonna be about here to over here. So the tide is really in today right now, so. So now I'm going to erase the horizon line that goes through the, the bridge. So this should be back here, maybe more. And then maybe this is not quite so high. I'm gonna erase that. So that should be good enough. So when we do the field study, what we're doing is we're organizing the way that we're going to do the painting. The composition, the order that we're going to use for the colors. And I have kind of an interesting sky today. So I'm just, I'm putting water on my, on my sky. So let's, I, I always do the lighter colors first. So with the sky, I want to have the lighter colors down first. I also need, I need a Kleenex. I like to have a Kleenex handy in my pocket here. So right here, you see, I've got paint slopped over onto my, I don't want paint there. Okay, now let's get this wet on wet sky to do something here. Now, if you haven't had a class with me before, you, you need to learn how to make your brush thirsty. 
And that's by taking it, laying it on the rag and pulling it like this. Laying down and pulling. Then we take this point of the brush, we go in here like this and we remove, we remove the puddle with the point of the brush. So I think that's gonna be my sky. Now I try to keep my paper tilted up so that everything runs down. Now if I want to get a little more drama in the sky, I can take my Kleenex and go, maybe go like this. I like that better. Maybe a little bit over here too. Let's see how that does. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Now since the sky is drying, I'm gonna do the water next. Now, since this is still wet right here, I, I don't wanna to touch that. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna put in my, begin to put in my density gradient for the water. And I put one in over here. I'm gonna go back in and put another one in later there, but this has to come maybe just a tad of, so you wanna have your water all the way up to the top so you can just get a tiny bit of water if you need to. And then the next one, so here's my next, my next one. Notice that that's a little bit larger. That's a little bit larger. And then I'm gonna leave some whites right in there. Let's come down here and do this. This is gonna be larger again. So notice I'm painting with the brush, laying the brush down on the paper. I'm not painting everything with a point. I use the point when I need to get very, very fine line. So now I have to be really careful here that I, that I be very, Maybe like that. Just a few little. And then here, maybe, let's see. Take my brush and go. Okay, then I want to get this, this gray. that over there. That's that gray. And then we have a little bit of beach. That's the wet sand. Yeah. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, beach in here. Just a little bit of beach right here. Just a hint of beach. And then, and then I probably do this. I mean, this is all going to be a lot easier. This will all be a lot easier on the big painting because we'll have, have room to do this. But, okay, so then I'm gonna put the water coming in, the shadow of the water stream coming in. That's the shadow of the water. Now let's do the, uh, the bridge. I know it's really dark but it's gonna get lighter in the, during the day. And then maybe just, just a tad, just a hint of stuff up here. I'm make this smaller here. And then I'm gonna put just I want that to be really dark there. And there's a shadow underneath, and then we also have some shadow on the, on the water here. So let's just soften this a little bit here. There you go. I like having that white right there and the white there. So I think that's gonna be it. Maybe I'll put a few birds over here. Maybe one right there. So that's the field study. I'm looking at, I think maybe I need to get just a little bit of a shadow in this part right here and then right up here. And I made this a lot smaller here. So that water could, goes all the way across here. So I need to put that in. There we go. You can see it's kind of rough, but uh, that's showing us where everything's gonna go on the paper, what our sky's gonna be like, the water and the waves, leaving quite a lot of white space here. See all this white down here is opportunity to... Wow, look at that. Body surfing, man, that was great. <laughs> yeah, amazing, huh? Okay, so uh, um, any questions? Sorry, say it again. When you're doing water and waves and things like that, is it always wet on dry or is that the rule? Yeah, I do pretty much wet on dry. But the sky I do wet on wet, usually. Would you be filling this in with more color or leaving this kind of just? This is gonna be, this is going to be pretty much a lot of white in here. 
and we'll, we'll see when I do the painting what, how I want to do it. But what I'd like to do is have an entrance to the painting somewhere down in this area. And so here's the entrance to the painting here. So here's where you, you enter, go in, and then what we're, re what we're really looking at is this part right here. That's, that's our center of interest. And so, so you want to remember the you want to remember the rule of thirds where you divide the paper up into thirds like that and then so this thing is so that's all right here you see right this is one on the third point right here that's that high contrast interest point right there that's that's where you want the viewer to kind of head toward and uh, you could make that could be it could be anywhere it could be here or here or here but for this one this is it and um, you don't want to ever put be, be careful you don't put your horizon line in the middle of the page uh, today uh, sometimes people do that and they, they're not thinking about it they just do it and um, try to get it so I see I have the horizon line way up here so if you divided this in thirds, there, that would be one third, and this would be the other third here. So I have my horizon line right about on the third point across here at the top. And that's an ideal place for your horizon line. Now you could have the horizon line lower if you want, and then you'd have less water in your painting, but I think water is a feature today. So that's why I'm putting the, everything up higher on the, in the composition. Does that make sense? Um, you know, we could eventually, um, you know, when you're doing the painting, you could maybe want to put, put a figure, figure in here, you know, like this. I'm just, I'm just kind of, so that they could be, they could be just uh, a figure, you know, standing at the beach. And that would be kind of nice to maybe do that. That is it. The actual study took about 12 minutes. I recommend that you make a small study like this before you commit to painting on a large sheet of paper. Good painting to you all.